Yo yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new league racing video. Today we are racing in WR round number 4 around Brazil and as you can see once again it is wet in Q1 and we're gonna try and once again uh, easily get into Q2 in these wet conditions. Now you can see there are 12 points behind Otis Lawrence after we scored 0 points in Silverstone, 13 points out of Piotr Starczyk and 18 points out of Lucas Blakely. So we've got some ground to make up, however it is only 12 points um, and after last week's hit in Zilfstone, yeah, no ideal to get 0 points there after that puncture uh, later on. Make sure to go and check it out if you did not yet. However, into turn 1 we go. Not, uh, not great entry speed, you can see we lost a little bit to our delta. We have already gone out on intermediates early on in the session and... We've put on another new set of intermediates on simply because later on the session it is gonna dry up. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be dry straight away in Q2 already, but at least this means we can use our intermediate tires and we don't have to save them for later on, you know. Um, so um, Lucas Blakely there with a 1 14.953. Uh, here with two and a half minutes to go in Q1. A bit wide there. I've not been very comfortable yet in, uh, in wet conditions, but of course we are still early on in the game cycle and. I haven't done a lot of wet practice yet, I haven't done any wet practice yet apart from uh, PSGL. Um, now of course we went out in Q1 in PSGL uh, Cota and then in Brazil one week later on uh, we did quite well in intermediate conditions. So um, it looks like we have fixed our lack of pace that uh, we were struggling with in intermediate conditions. And we have four tens up at the moment, we are P13 already anyway, as a lot of people have said. Uh, an improved time here as the track is just, you know, getting faster and faster. Still 2.7 tenths away from Lucas Blakely though, but we went for another lap. We did a cooldown lap and went again. And on the second lap, we did a little bit better. Uh, 115.049. Not great still. A little bit of a struggle still, but again, we're only one tenth behind uh, Nicolas Longay. So. Not too bad at all. Losers from uh, Q1 here uh, that have not managed to get into Q2 are Ike Baena, Matthijs van Erven, Piotr Stacilek, Jet Norgrove and George Idovu. Uh, all of them did slower than a 115.427. Now first lap of Q2 here. First new set of tires in Q2. I have already set a lap on used intermediates as it's still not completely dry. And these kind of laps are so fun to do. You can see the grip is not there yet. It's still not completely dry. And you can see that from the lap times. 110.4 from Tom Manley means we are still like over 3 seconds of uh, full dry conditions. And the, the grip is just not there. But it's just so hard to get right. It's so much fun to drive in these conditions as you're struggling to get a lap together from... A lack of grip, cars moving around in every single corner, you can see backhand <laughs> stepping out. But we managed to catch it nicely there. And uh, it's been a pretty good lap so far, of course. A few moments here and there, but that's what you expect in these drying up conditions. Uh, especially if you're pushing quite hard into the final sector we go. Tomek Poratsis goes to P1 with a 109.9. Nicolas Longe on 109.501, so that's four times faster than his teammate. And as we come across the line, it is going to be a 109.416, and we are fastest here in Q2. However, obviously, we're going to have to go again, because those were drying conditions. And at the end of Q2 here, it is definitely going to be dry. Into turn one we go. You can see so much more grip than on the previous lap. A little bit of hesitation through turn one, two there. Not completely smooth. DRS open as we head into turn 4. Uh, Alfred Carton has finished his lap already. We're 6 1000s down as we go into the second sector. Uh, not a great first sector there for me, not gonna lie. Into uh, the Mickey Mouse section we go here. It's very tight, very, uh, very small uh, corners. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it is all very tight. And you need to downforce to work nicely here so into the tight right hander we go trying to get the front end in not a great exit a bit a little bit on the limit you know into the final sector we go we are three 100s down on tom Manley, and i missed the final corner a little bit and that definitely cost us time up to the line we go 
We're only P8 at the moment with everyone still improving, it's of course, enough, because... Chat. I messed up the last corner. Because of the drying track. We're currently P12. Across the line we go. It's going to be a 107.284. And that is not going to be enough for P1. Uh, which is not ideal. Yeah. Lost out a little bit there. Um, first race back in the factory, as you can see. And it's not doing as well. Um... And yeah, probably because I'm not completely used to the equipment yet. Uh, you always yep. got a bit of an advantage when you're driving from home. And uh, I wasn't completely used to my rig yet uh, in the factory. But into the race we go now. Straight away, you can see a lot of different strategies here. It's going to be five red lights. And away we go. And as expected, we don't get off the line that well compared to Alfie Butcher and Danny Moreno behind us on the softs. Now, we are on the hard, so we're playing the long game here and have to... Keep or nose clean compared to those soft runners, as there are a lot of people on softs. You can see we're getting swallowed up by them, as they have just so okay, much more grip. Softs for what? Now, PSGL, we obviously went for that strategy as well, but I wanted to try something different here in WR, especially because we're starting P11. I don't and think I should fight this. You can I also say, want to fight it. Fight it as much as you can without wasting your as you can hear me say that, I'm not sure if I should fight this because they have so much more grip and you're... There's not much you can do, I think so. Uh, these guys have so much more grip. You can see I'm trying to get the power down, but compared to the soft runners, I'm just absolutely nowhere. As I go for a move on Ismail Fassi, wasn't really an overtaking try. It was just trying to defend from Jet Norgrove behind, but in the end, he got the better of me anyway. He leaves us the space on the exit. Uh, we got a little bit more momentum. And once again, I'm turning on the overtake button, but um, so P12, again, P11 should I be fighting this? I might just be hurting my own rates more if I fight this really hard. So, um, Matthijs is the last soft runner going through here on the inside. Um, and yeah, we're gonna leave him the space. And yeah, he's gonna go through they're here. They're all now. on softs. <laughs> you can hear me say, they're all on softs. I'm so surprised because of all these strategies on softs, at least half the grid is on softs. And this is something we missed on F122. On F122, everyone started on the harder compound and moved to the softer compound. And now it just seems to be so mixed. Uh, now Piotr starts like behind us on the hearts and Iker Bain on hearts. They're on a similar strategy to us. But we've lost seven positions here in the opening lap, pretty much. We've gone from P11 <laughs> to P18. Again, it's not a complete disaster because we are on a cool very player, different yeah. strategy to everyone. You top can top see top how top much of a mess it is up front here. Uh, I was a little bit hoping for some incidents because well, so many people you know? were going side by side. Oh, this on hearts, 80% euros. And uh, Alvaro Carlton sets the fast lap. He's on the softs as well. And then in like the top eight, there are a lot of people on hearts as well. A lot of people like Lucas, uh, Fabrizio De Nozo, Nicolas Longe, all starting on the harder compound of tires. So they are going um, for a different threat as well. As there was a car there in the wall, <laughs> and that's why there's a VSC now. So um, yeah, I noticed he was ghosting, so I just decided to drive through him, uh, which would lose us a little bit less time. And you can see how slow yeah, this entire really train of cars is going. So We're bad. three and a half seconds. Out, there's so much chaos ahead. Uh, plus that has like a crazy Delta. more faster than Delta than me. And as you can hear me say, I was a bit confused with this Delta because someone at front must have been going like very slowly plus fast five Delta. to go like over plus and six seconds on the VSC Delta. And now I'm going flat out. However, we're somehow losing to the VSC Delta on the middle of the straight. And it is going to end soon, down, so I am pushing, but we're not going to make up four seconds to that VSC Delta. We have made up uh, a lot of it, and at the end we only got plus 2.4, but a bit frustrating that we lost quite a bit of time, because someone at front was going really slowly under that VSC. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter too much. End of lap 4, start of lap 5 here, as Tom Manley has a bit of an incident in turn 1-2, which gives us a good run on Otis Lawrence as well. I've turned on the overtick button, DRS open, Otis has DRS as well. We're gonna go around the outside in turn 4. And can we pull it off? We are ahead at the apex, but I got a little bit wide. And we just didn't have the grip on the outside there to pull it off. And I decided uh, to back out of it. Um, 
You can see how easy to get a track limit warning there. Um, and at this point in the race, it was not really worth it that much. Because me and Otis are most likely on very similar strategies now. So Matthijs is on a different strategy. On and his softs are um, starting Comic to die. So I decided to go for a move here. Turn on the overtake button. Uh, with the help of DRS, we're going to go into P15. So only four positions behind where we started now. A bit wide in turn one. Um, and yeah, I, I was struggling a little bit with my braking, not gonna lie. I changed my brake rubbers and brake force in the hope that my brake pedals would brake less. Um, brake less in the sense of braking down. <laughs> uh, because I had, I've had so much broken pedals in the past two months. Um, and I'm not even braking that hard. I use like 63 kilos in my hosting belt saddles, uh, pedals. sorry, And like 80 brake force in my Fanatec pedals and the Fanatec pedals I think are just not made out of for corner. any decent sorry, brake sorry. force because they just break all the time. Now we're gonna go for the move on Tomek and both Tomek Thomas and Thomas are boxing for a new set of mediums at the end of lap 18 here so they're gonna do half the race on mediums. We're gonna continue the synth a little bit longer uh, together with Otis in order to try and catch the leading group, because that's actually Lucas Blakely, Nicolas Longe and Fabrizio Donoso right there. We can see them, and they start at P1, 2, 3, so somehow we've managed to pull this back to <laughs> going from P18 to now oh, on 30 not necessarily the leading group, because Alvaro Caraton yeah, yeah. is in the net lead on a new set of mediums, but um, we are somewhat back in the fight for the win, I think so. Um, but yeah, now back to the pedals. Um, my pedals have just been breaking a lot. We have to use the Fanatec pedals for Avon Esports, and uh, they just break a lot. It's been annoying. So um, once I got to uh, to the factory, I was, you know what, I'm going to try different brake rubbers and a different brake force, a little bit lower uh, brake force and stiffer rubbers, so you can easily, more easily hit uh, the 100% brake force. Um, but Look is on 100. Yeah. Nico uh, on I had to get used I to it still at, the moment. at this point. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's good practice. It's good practice, you know. Having to uh, swap equipment uh, makes you uh, flexible, uh, I guess. <laughs> and now we're trying to catch a backup to Lucas Blakely. 1.2 seconds out of us. And we've got the 51% ERS. For the people who don't know, ERS gives you um, extra power. It's a battery that um, gives you a 160 horsepower more when you activate it. And comes in pretty handy strategically sometimes. And as you can see there, we used a little bit to get back into that one second window. Which gives you then the drag reduction system, which opens the rear wing. And gives you less drag on the straight, which helps you overtake, but also recharge the battery faster. So... Uh, we are uh, back into the DRS of kind of the leading group. I think one of these three guys are in for the win, for sure. And uh, they are definitely going to have a lot more ERS than me. They're, they're probably on 100% ERS at the moment. Thomas and Tomek. Yeah, I can see. Copy. And seven yeah, that helps them, of course, the later on in this race. Um, because they just have more engine power available. Uh, we're going to try and recharge it in the next few laps, but... They clearly have the advantage at the moment with that ERS. Um, you can see, I'm not using here, even though Lucas is using, and he's gonna go for a move on Nicolas. They are Nicolas in their own battle. And I was, you know what? I'm just gonna Lucas open my DRS, charge my battery. Uh, through the dirty air that Nicolas is gonna get from Lucas, we will catch back up in the middle sector, and then we can yeah, DRS again the long game. on yep. the Nicole, next lap. And as you can hear me say, I am playing the long game here. Um, because I want fresh tires in the end. Everyone has gone super short. Everyone has gone for early pit stops. And at this point, I was like, we might as well go long and have fresh tires compared to everyone else uh, at the end of the race. That way we can make a lot of moves, but the disadvantage is that we're probably gonna come out in like P18 again, and we're gonna have to overtake 17 cars to get to P1. So Lucas overtook Nicolas, which usually means he is gonna box it in this lap. And as you can see there, he is going on to the mediums with 15 laps to go. And Nicolas is continuing. I'm still trying to recharge my battery here. Um, because, yeah, we had to use a lot to catch to catch up to Nicolas, Lucas and Fabrizio. So uh, we're just going to keep doing that. 
Nicholas pushing Comment a little bit with his ERS there. Yes. We've got the ERS, so we catch back up again. Uh, Otis Lawrence, our championship rival, with the fastest lap. And end of lap 22, where Nico Nicholas 80. is going to be boxing as we are going to get DRS once again. I'm and up now. Copy. Lucas behind Tomek. Now, at the end of this lap, I'm going to be boxing as well for a new set of mediums, and then 13 laps to the end. And you can see Alvaro Caraton. 5.9 seconds behind on mediums. However, he boxed super early, of course, so he's had the advantage of the soft tires at the start, and then he's boxed early as well onto a new set of mediums again. So you might be wondering why he's super close and you've lost a lot of time. We are going to have that advantage now on a new set of mediums, and we're going to be gaining a crazy amount of time. Uh, same for Danny Moreno and Alfie Butcher. Both started on softs. Um, literally behind me and next to me P10, 11, and they are 12, only 7 13, seconds behind so that means we're gonna come out like 13 seconds behind them but we've got new tires now and we are gonna be gaining seconds per lap um, because the tires fall off quite aggressively uh, you've got a, a lot of big burst of grip uh, in the first few laps but then they drop off aggressively as well which is so good for strategy um, and just gives you so many strategy options which is exactly what missed in F122 and that makes this race so exciting. We've come out in P18. One and a half lap later, we are in the DRS of Piotr Stachilek. And this is where the fun starts. We've got almost a full battery of ERS. And you can see we're 1.9 seconds behind Matthijs van Aaron. As Tom Manley has retired from the session. So up to P17 we go. And in the next 11 laps, we're going to have to try and somehow... Uh, get back into the fight for the win. Piotr on quite all the tires and he has no ERS as well. So this is an easy pass for us. I mean, Not every single pass is going to be this easy. Matthijs van Aaron up front uh, on old mediums as well. Uh, Ikrabena I think on a little bit fresher all mediums. The but from the pick earlier on 30% ERS. Again, we've got a new tire grip and you can see how much more grip we have in this middle section. This is all about mechanical grip. Um, and we have it. We've got it all available. Nicolas Longe right there. Uh, two positions ahead of us. Uh, three positions ahead of us, sorry. And we're going to go for a move here on Matthijs van Aaron around the outside in the long left. And we've got so much more grip. It's ridiculous. Now we're going to get DRS from Iker Bain as well. And this is going to be another easy pass. And then we're right behind Nicolas Longe again. We started on the front row. And we've got fresh tires. So if we can get in his DRS. Then I mean, we are back into the into a shot at the race win. Now we've still got a lot of cars to overtake, of course, uh, which is not going to be easy. And he is probably going to have more ERS, as we had to use a bit there to catch back up into the DRS. And yeah, he is just going to have slightly more ERS. We so start to stay I'm going to play. DRS. I'm going to play it smart here, not fight Nicolas, and kind of work a little bit together to get back to the front rowing. Front rowing. Sorry. Okay. Uh, the front top 10 uh, of this race. Alvaro does have a 3 second gap to Fabrizio Nozo in P2, I think so. Um, but yeah, Fabrizio has oh, I've never seen tires. so many people flash in my life. Oh my god. Maybe you're in, in the fight for the win. Relax. And as you can even say, there's so many people flashing up front, all struggling with ERS, all fighting very hard. And we've got a lot of fresh tires as well. So. These moves are not going to be too hard as Nicholas goes for a send down the inside and that is going to help us as well because now we are going to get a free pass on Ismail yeah, Fassi. We've got like a slipstream of yeah. Nicholas Longe. I didn't even He's have to use free. my battery to go yeah. for a move there and oh, Ismail see. knows that we've got way fresh tires as well so he is not fighting this too hard. Uh, again hurting his own race probably more if he does as the pack bunched up, uh, bunched up a little bit there. Um, from Josh, who's on a lot of all the tires. Again, he started on the softs, passed us early on, and now we've got the advantage of um, fresher medium tires. Now, uh, again, we've got a lot more grip. Josh kind of lets us through. I don't think he lifted, but just went Thank white and was like, you know, you can have this one, mate. <laughs> um, I'll fight you in another race. But um, yeah, we've uh, only got this five lap old tires whereas his are like 15 16 lap old uh tires so again we've got ray fresher tires nicolas goes for a cent again on jet norgrove and that helps us again going around the outside in this next left hander and that is another position up to p9 
two points in the back so far, but there is still seven laps remaining at Thomas the end of this one. 37, Otis 4%, Alfie Butcher 3 second penalty. So, Ruben Pedreno on mediums there. Five second penalty for him as well, might be for speeding in the pits. And you can see there, he had a bit of a moment, I think, so <laughs> he slowed out a lot suddenly and had to avoid it a little bit. Luckily, we were sharp there and managed to avoid him. A bit of slipstream help here into turn four. Um, not going for the move just yet. I didn't want to use my battery because I want to save it for a later battle. Otis goes wide there in turn four. We go down the inside of Ruben um, and that is actually P9 now, sorry. Um, and now Otis up next, our championship rival. Struggling with his battery, um, all the tires than us as well, of course, five lap all the tires than us. And his undercut didn't quite work, but of course, this is what I was talking about. Um, if so many people go early and you go for a normal pit lap, then you're not really undercutting uh, anyone apart from the people like me that go really long. Um, but yeah, you might just get stuck Otis somewhere in the midfield, 17. and I think that might have happened to Otis uh, at some point Runner, in this race. Now Otis flashing there, um, and we have turned on our overtake button for a brief moment there. We turn it off again to get uh, some juicy slips from into turn one. Otis goes defensive, we go around the outside in turn one. We're ahead of the apex, break a lot deeper. Otis got stuck behind Thomas there, and we are now up to P8, six laps to go. We're going to get DRS once again into turn four. As there's a slow moving Williams. Was the Williams there? Um, not sure what happened to him. But uh, now we've got Nicolas Longo P6, Thomas Ronnar P7. Um, both of them, of course, all the tires and us, but not by a crazy amount. Um, I think Alfie Butcher is the first one on really old tires, so he's going to be struggling. And. And then we've got Danny Moreno and Alvaro Caraton, both on really old uh, medium tires. So uh, we have a chance on overtaking them um, later on in this race. Although I say later on, there's only going to be five laps remaining at the end of this one. We're going to have to get on with it and, and get past Thomas here as soon as possible. He was just yeah. flashing. Yeah, but he recovered well. Nico on 60. Now we go for the move into turn one, not really a gap there, um, as Thomas goes for the move on Alfie Butcher, and now we're going to go for the switchback, a uh, bit of help of ERS soon as well, as I'm trying to get a bit of a slipstream, a little bit of momentum into turn four perhaps, into turn four we go around the outside, is there enough space, there is, but we get hit on the outside there, and not left enough space, and that costs up some time. And ERS, you can see now we have no ERS left as well. And we have to try and recharge as much as possible. Ahead. As Very soon as possible now. Left old tires, Alvaro and Moreno holding up long way. Thomas flashing once again, no DRS for him. Um, and three laps remaining here. As now, sorry, four laps remaining. Um, sorry, no, three laps remaining. Uh, we don't have any DRS into turn four, of course. But we have enough of a gap, I reckon, to stay ahead into turn four, even though we still have no battery left, uh, as we used it all to get past uh, all those cars behind us. P6 it is at the moment, one and a half laps to go. Nicolas and Alvaro fighting side by side in this middle section. Uh, as Nicolas has much fresher tires, Alvaro and Danny will both be struggling on tire wear. And... Uh, it's not going to be easy to pass them because they have so much more ERS. Alvaro they have, 55. of course, a huge disadvantage with their ERS, however, uh, sorry, with their tires. However, they've just saved up so much more ERS than us as they didn't have those yeah, battles in the midfield. So, yeah. um, I decided, Thomas you know what? Same as you, so no threat from behind. I'm just going to sit back here a little bit and save my battery for the very last Thomas lap of the race. Into turn one zero. we go. Um, Thomas going for We really just tried there. to send it in the yellow flag. Um, however, it wasn't far enough alongside. Now, Danny Moreno, old mediums ahead. We're starting to run out of time as Shanika Clay moving slowly on the inside there. Um, not sure what happened to him as my camera has turned off here in the last lap as well. And now we somehow have to get past Danny Moreno and Alvar Carton. They do have all tires, but... There's not really a place to get past here, unless we go for a massive dive bomb. 
uh, we're not going to be able to pull it off. Um, and of course, I don't want to get into any incidents as well. Otis Lawrence, our championship rival, right behind us. So if we cause an incident, we're going to lose big points to him. Um, and yeah, at the moment, it doesn't look like there's any place to really get past here at the moment. Uh, into the last corner we go. We do have a lot of ERS here to spend and we do have a nice slipstream. However, is it going to be enough? Danny is flashing here. We're going to turn on the DRS, on. but Danny does have DRS as well. Is it going to be enough across the line? It is I'm not, unfortunately. As uh, so I bottomed out slightly on the banking there. And it's only P6. However, Nicolas Longay did get a penalty and we moved up to P5. In the end, pretty good race. Uh, we went from P11 to P5. And, you know, we almost catch up to the leaders after maybe being a little bit unlucky with... All those people going on softs at the start, and that just lost us a lot of time. Um, again, maybe we should have gone for softs. I don't know. Um, it was a, a very fun race, in my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. So many different strategies, so many battles on track, and I loved, I loved it. One of my favorite races, maybe, on F1 23. Um, it was really good. A lot of fights, a lot of clean fights. Make sure to like, subscribe for more league racing content, and see you guys next time. Ciao. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the AMG, no bitch, you better